Oh, there you are. Guys, welcome to Casa Sauce Balls 2.0. Parang I didn't see you guys not through the glass. <laughs> Hi everyone, so as promised, we are doing a little house tour just so that I can, you know, show you guys what we've done along the way and the brands we've found that we actually really love and that we've used in this house. I hope you guys enjoy! So, the space of living, we wanted to be able to entertain people and not having to be too separate. We wanted to always be connected and we always wanted to be able to see the kids from wherever we are. So I do have an open kitchen here, which I love to cook in. The stone is the centerpiece of the house when you enter. This is Brazilian quartz and it's great because you can put hot pans, you can cook and then put it on top and it won't burn or ruin the color. We initially had a white marble here, but literally a week ago, I changed it because I decided I wanted something more attractive to the eye when you enter. So we were able to find this from South Pacific Marble. They have really nice pieces. They can even light it, but we didn't want to complicate things. I already complicated things enough by changing things last minute. So this is from them. And then here I have my stove top. Got it from Gorenhe. And this actually comes out. So when I cook, you just press it on and then it comes out. I don't cook anything crazy here. Like I'll do stews and stuff like that, but nothing too smoky, like steaks, fish, and everything. We do it in the dirty kitchen just because we don't have a top vent. We just have this vent. The whole cabinetry here is from Opine. So I wanted something clean. I wanted wood just so that it matches with the whole house, obviously. My wine fridge. Can't live without my vino. We have this beautiful oven. I got it from Gorin here as well and the microwave. And then space for like pots and pans. But this is where I want to show you how organized I am in this house. I organized everything. Oops, it's messy because of Nico. But anyways, so, so I have labels. Spreads, I've always wanted this before. Consume first, at least I know what to eat first instead of always opening and throwing things back and then it's rotting. So all of it is here. And then all my glasses when I entertain. Color coordinated. Actually, I got help from Neat Obsession to help me fix my stuff. And then I called in Mayfair, which helped me with choosing items from their IG store to help me kind of categorize and rearrange, also to have a cleaner look. So I'm super happy with this. And wait, I want to show you my other one because I'm so excited about being super organized at home. Here, I have all my jars with like granola, cereal, Flaxseed, these are all my add-ons. You see, flaxseed, chia, dried fruits, protein powder, and then I have my almonds and other baskets. Clean. These are also from Taylor Living. High chairs. Things you might notice from my old house. This one is actually Titi's step-in chair. But like I said, when I entertain, I wanted everyone in one room. So if I'm cooking and I can talk to the people sitting in the dining area, I can talk to people sitting here and the kids can be watching TV and we can actually see them because everything is operable. We can open everything. Before we enter the dirty kitchen, this one we need to talk about is our dumb waiter. This was Nico's idea. When I saw the price of a dumb waiter, I was super pissed. <laughs> I was like, we're never gonna use it, why? And it takes like one or two square meters from the house in all floors. But lo and behold, Nico was right. We use it all the time. Time. And this is from the experience of living in a three floor house from our past house, having to go up and down every time we forget something or we want to snack, we have to run up and down, forgot to sign a paper, forgot to wear a shoe. It was getting tiring. So Nico said, when we build a house, I want a dumb waiter. He got it. And honestly, very, very good. That's it, I think. Let's go to the dirty kitchen. You're probably all wondering where I cook our, <laughs> where we cook the steak, because we have no grill yet, and where we cook our get <laughs> since I can't cook it here. So let's enter this. This is a secret room, cheer up. So this is what you call the dirty kitchen. It's not dirty. <laughs> so this is also where our staff can cook and eat their food. They have their dining table here because their dining table in their room, I want it more for snacks because I don't want their room to smell like food. So this is basically everyone's kitchen. 
This is where we do all the cooking. We have some cabinets here that are from Opine as well. And I'm gonna fix it, I don't know how yet, but maybe I wanna put some of the, like, the pots of flour and noodles up here. I want it to look really pretty. Got this from Ikea, last minute. I was like, oh my god, I need a table for them. So this is actually really pretty. It's like a nice heavy table and super sturdy and matched everything, so it, it looked good. And then yeah, so cooking stove. This was again all built in. Here, we were supposed to have two fridges, but I decided to just go for one. So yeah, I just added this water thing here. And then we had extra space in the back, so I put a little herb garden. My calamansi, I have tarragon, I have some tomatoes, I have alubati, I have basil. It's all planted here at the back. At least when you're cooking in the kitchen and you want something, oh shoot, I need herbs. You walk out and you get it. So, put a little herb garden here. All of this I can control as well from my phone. Who comes in and who comes out at what time, I see it. We got this from Yale. It talks, it does talk. All of them our print marks, so we make sure that things are safe. This is our pantry room, -da, where we have a full-on freezer with all the bolzico beef. <laughs> and then I have here my pots and pans for baking. Again, this was built in from Opine. We have them everywhere. And then I organized my pantry with Mayfair. So they have all these cute little things which I've never thought of. Look, all the sauces are here. And then they have these little stands so everything is clearly seen. And then these glass stands as well really help us when we have too many cans all there. Our noodles. It usually stays intact. So see, it's pretty clean, pretty well maintained. All our rice down here, grains, sugars. And then here, more storage room. My wooden stuff. Yeah, this is the pantry. So it's like the little groceries. I've also always wanted this. Let us go outside. There's an exhaust. I think you need exhaust everywhere. And then there's a little area here where they can prep the food if ever we have guests and everything. And then more stuff for the plates. But a lot of my plates are also outside. 